Ephesians chapter 1. We're going to be talking about the redemption of the purchased possession. And I want to read from verses uh, 9 to 14. Uh, and we're going to be focusing primarily on verse 14. But the text says this, Having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, mm -hmm. which he hath purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ, in whom ye also trusted. After that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance mm -hmm. until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. Amen. Amen. So Amen. I want to I kind of want to share some primary thoughts about salvation itself. Mm -hmm. uh, Kind of some conclusions at the beginning. Um, so I want you to think about salvation itself and in, 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 in specific according to this text and the redemption mm -hmm. of the purchased mm -hmm. possession. But first, the work of salvation is progressive uh, in nature and it is acti actively moving toward a, a preordained end. Amen. Right? So this is something that's it's, it's moving towards something. Uh, it's Amen. progressive. In other words, God has begun a good work through Christ, and He fully intends on bringing it to a conclusion. Amen. 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 The fullness of God's intention in salvation has not yet been brought to pass fully, uh, but it will in the world to come. If the Lord has said it, you can be certain that He will do it. So we're Amen. talking about things that He is yes. determined to do, and the revelation of things that He has determined to do yet in the future. He mm -hmm. has declared these things, and so we can... We can receive great benefit now in, in yes. looking forward to those Amen. things, uh, being certain that it will be accomplished. Mm -hmm. If he has purchased it, you can be certain there's going to be a redemption. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So furthermore, the partaking of divine benefit mm -hmm. and blessing uh, as everything in the kingdom of God is increasing. Mm -hmm. so, so now we're partaking of divine benefit and blessing, but, but as, the, as the manner of the kingdom of God is, it's increasing. The, the kingdom of God increases, uh, so we can also. So what we're talking about in salvation is is we're looking for for more, yeah, mm -hmm. and better. Uh, so everyone engaged in it, that is in, engaged in and participating in the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Every, you participants in it. Everyone engaged in it uh, will experience a further participation in the world to come. It's mm -hmm. it's on the increase. <clears throat> Thus. Uh, as those in Christ are translated from this world to that which is to come, their experience will be in accord with their current experience, uh -huh. but it'll be better. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it'll be Amen. enhanced. Amen. It'll be improved. It'll be increased. Amen. Uh, it'll be perfected. It'll Amen. be brought to completion. There'll be, there'll be more. Right? Uh, so what we have partaken of here is in the first fruit sense uh, will be abundantly enjoyed there in the mm. full attainment sense. Yes. Uh, it will be of the same source and of the same substance, but it'll be better. A, a, sor a sort of unfiltered and unabated experience of the provision of God and the work and the working of God, right? So I'm asking you to think about a lot of things pertaining to salvation right now. Uh -huh. uh, but, you know, we're engaged not only in salvation uh, beneficial to us, but it has great utility. Yes. Uh, what we've done in, in being joined to the Lord, we have been made profitable, uh, fitting uh, mm -hmm. vessels that, that, can, that can be useful mm -hmm. to the Master's use. And so we can think about all that and then think about the world to come and think of increase. Mm -hmm. And think of, mm -hmm. of, of unfiltered and unabated, that is unhindered, by us, mm. unhindered by the body, yeah. unhindered by a present evil world. Amen. And so you can just expect great uh, uh, abundance and, and flourishing yes. of, yeah. of the working of God, Amen. both both in us and through us, which, boy, that just, that just sounds good. Yes, amen. 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 <laughs> Specific to the text before us, uh, we can say this, that we have been given an earnest of our inheritance uh, but the redemption of the purchased possession is in order to do a, a better work 
than the earnest is, mm -hmm. right? So if we've been, we, we're partakers of the divine nature, we're partakers of the Holy Spirit. Uh, so what we have now is good, but we can expect it to be better. And if, mm -hmm. if what uh, we've been given now is in order to do a work, we can expect that what, when we have the fullness of it, we'll be, we'll be required of doing a greater work. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, uh, and then lastly, uh, salvation is a, is a fellowship. Mm. You can think of it as a fellowship. Yeah. Um, and as such, its benefits are mutually enjoyed by everyone that's involved yeah, in that fellowship. Yeah. Uh, both, in other words, both the Savior yeah. and the saved. Mm -hmm. It's beneficial. So, so what we're participating in in salvation, it's not only beneficial to us, it's also beneficial and, and, and joyous uh, for the Savior himself. In fact, what God is working in Christ is pleasing and beneficial to all who are involved in it. The Godhead is involved and is blessed by men being saved. Uh, men themselves are involved and benefit greatly from salvation. Heavenly angels are involved in ministering to the heirs of salvation. And they are blessed by beholding such a great work also. All those involved in this work of salvation are benefited by it. Mm -hmm. And so therefore the completion of the work will be to the end that all will be blessed forevermore and will readily praise uh, the Lord, the Savior of, of, of the world, saying mm -hmm. it is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Yeah. Right? And so yeah. when we're talking about to the praise of His glory, uh -huh. this is an expression of everyone involved. Yeah. Not just men, but also those who are beholding the principalities and powers in mm -hmm. heavenly places. Yes, All to the praise of of His glory. Amen. So let me uh, make an opening comment about the things that have been kept secret are now being made manifest. Mm. God is making known mysteries that have been hidden from man since the foundations of the earth were laid. Mm. We spoke at great length concerning this. Uh, and because the wisdom of men never comes to the knowledge of God, of His own will, God has revealed these mysteries uh, to us by His Spirit, for mm. which we praise Him. And both the revelation of the mystery of His will and the accomplishment of it are all to the praise of His glory. In other words, he, not only is He doing it to the praise of His glory, He's revealing it to the praise of His glory so that we, He's catching us up to speed so that we would uh, be cognizant, so that we would, with understanding, praise Him. Otherwise, He would be doing His work and we would have no understanding of it. Yeah. Uh, so we're now Amen. brought to an ability to actually praise Him now. Yes. And uh, you're... you're uh, I'm... I'm fairly certain are familiar with the term hermeneutics, uh, but it has been, I guess, defined as the science of studying, interpreting, and understanding a uh, text, primarily scripture. Uh, but when it comes to understanding the mysteries of heaven, hmm. yeah. this is the only valid hermeneutic is the revelation of God. Yeah. If you're going to understand things that have been hidden uh, from men since yeah. the world began, you really, hermeneutics can kind of go out the window. We, yeah. we require that God reveal this to yeah, us. Right. Well, praise God, He has. Amen. The mysteries of God must be revealed by God, and if they are not, no amount of earthly reasoning yeah. or, or expertise will be able to find them out. Mm. Amen. So here's some good news. God Amen. is a revealer of mysteries. Amen. 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 So our, our pre I, I want to kind of go and, and talk about our present experience and, and then the redemption of the purchase of possession and, and kind of in view of what is to come, mm -hmm. uh, which is just a, a pleasant <clears throat> consideration. But you can't, someone said this earlier, but you can't really uh, get through this text without finding all the in whom's. Uh, all of this is being done in Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, we shouldn't be surprised about this, but there's a whole lot of pronouns in here speaking of deity mm -hmm. in this text. All of Ephesians speaks this way. And mm -hmm. I just, it's just, it's just, well, it's assuring to think of our salvation being done in Him. Yeah. In yeah. whom? Because if you can find yourself in whom, mm -hmm. well, then you receive all the things that are in Him, yes. right? So our salvation will never be separated from Jesus. Amen. Our experience Amen. of it, it'll never be, not even in the world, it will be separated from Jesus. Uh, we will never be able to experience or maintain an acceptable standing with God apart from Christ Jesus. Amen. Jesus must ever live to make intercession for us. Yeah. He, he, he must always do this. Whether we be here or there, our association uh, with the Lamb of God is what makes us pleasing and acceptable yes. to God. Amen. Which, which is why when you see the vision in the heavenly places, uh, in the revelation, there's a lamb standing as yeah. if slain. This yeah. is like a constant reminder to all to all in heaven, to all in the heavenly places that there's a lamb here and therefore everyone else is welcome. Amen. Because otherwise they'd all be cast out. But That's because right. we can see the lamb, 
standing as if slain, mm. we can have assurance that we are accepted because of him. We're Amen. accepted in the beloved. Amen. And God can look at the lamb as a reminder. Mm. You know, he's a constant reminder that this is, this is why we're all here. Mm -hmm. This is why we have cause for great glory and great praise. Amen. Everything we are and everything we do uh, has to do with this phrase, in whom. Mm -hmm. In other words, in our text it speaks of uh, he is gathering all things together in Christ. Yeah. Uh, we have obtained an inheritance in Christ. Mm -hmm. We have trusted in Christ. Mm -hmm. We have been sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise in him. Mm -hmm. Right? Seal sealed in him yeah. with the Holy Spirit of promise. And so I just want to go through and pick out a couple of these, uh, these phrases here from the text I read. But it speaks of we have, in that you heard the word of truth. Mm. The mystery of his will is manifested through the gospel. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, these things are made known through the preaching of the gospel. The preaching of the good news of our salvation. Mm -hmm. So that the good news that God is delivering, blessing, and rewarding man through the man, Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. The gospel announces that everything necessary for the fullness of joy to be realized is brought to us in who? In Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God is blessing the world through him. The word of truth of the gospel reveals the hidden mystery that God spared not his own son. And so how shall he not with him freely give us all things? Amen. So this is the word that we have heard. We've Amen. heard this gospel. Yeah. And we Amen. believe this yeah. gospel. Amen. We've heard this. And it's, it's not just the... This isn't, we're not talking ideas. Yeah. And we're yeah. not talking philosophies. We're talking a declaration of truth. Amen. That you have heard this word yeah. of the truth. It's mm -hmm. a declaration. This is what happened. Amen. Is that he laid the iniquity of us all upon him. Yes. And so in, in our hearing, and our reception, and our believing on that message, that's, that's what makes the difference. Mm. Amen. The redemption of the purchased possession speaks of the full obtainment of these all things that he freely gives us in Christ. The gospel both announces and reveals uh, this. It both declares the truth of it. And, and also gives us understanding yeah. with it, you see? Yeah. So not only is it an announcement, a proclamation of this truth, but it's, it's so that we can get the sense of it, mm -hmm. right? The gospel, the gospel is, is, is such a message that we can, we can get a hold of it and it can minister uh, to Amen. us. Mm -hmm. So we've heard the word of truth. And, and the will of God was, was made known to us. So that's, just a, that's just a marvelous thought. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're talking about this at great length mm -hmm. this weekend. But just contemplating that the will of God, the eternal purpose of God, has been made known to men. Yeah. Amen. It's Amen. just something to think about. Yeah. It's God's will uh, that has been made known to us. God's will. Yeah. His will has been made known to men. He is showing us through the gospel his intention, his, his desire, his purpose. Uh, our salvation is progressing uh, from us being enlightened to this truth and, that, and actively participating in it. So not only is it the announcement of it, but now you're entering into it, and you're living in accord with the truth that's been declared. Mm -hmm. This uh, will of God is primarily concerned with what He is doing in Himself, right? Mm -hmm. According to His purpose, this all has to do about, about God. I know this probably doesn't need to be said to you, but I'm just going to remind you about it, that the will of God is primarily about God. It's yeah. God's purpose. Amen. It's Amen. God's doing. Amen. Mm -hmm. So when, when you're thinking about the will of God, you have to first think about what this means to God. What, what is God's purpose? Mm -hmm. And then you'll find yourself in it when, when, you, when you can agree with the will of God, when you find yourself Amen. in His will, in His purpose. Amen. The will of God involves uh, Him gathering all things together in Christ. It includes predestinating us to obtain mm -hmm. an inheritance through Christ. Yeah. Amen. He is working all His purpose after the counsel of His own will. Mm -hmm. He is glorified in salvation. So, so what is what is our position in this? What does man what do man do mm. in this? In whom you've also trusted. Yes. That's, that's where we come in. Amen. Trust. Yeah. You got you got you got as, as much as you understand the will of God, trust. Mm -hmm. And I like the way it said, I like the I like I like thinking about trusting in the Savior. Trusting in him. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's, it's, it's worded in many ways in the scripture. We believe on him. Mm -hmm. We believe in him. Yeah. Here it's, it's worded that you trusted. Yeah. You trusted. Amen. We have trusted in Jesus. Mm. We have committed our lives and our souls to the one who is able to keep us and to present us mm -hmm. before his presence without spot, without wrinkle, without any such thing, with exceeding joy, right? Yeah. We're trusting in the Lamb's ability to accomplish the will of the Father. Amen. 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 Trusting. 
See, not just believing it, and not just, uh, uh, I guess, an intellectual assent mm -hmm. that I know that this is true, but trusting in it. Mm -hmm. Sticking your, just, just hanging your whole salvation on it. I, mm -hmm. If the Lamb can do it, then, then I'm good to go. Yeah. But I'm, I'm trusting in, in Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have staked our eternal condition of our souls on the fact that God is satisfied with the sacrifice of Christ and that Christ is and will remain one with the Father, acceptable to Him, blessed by Him, and seated at His right hand. We're trusting in that. Amen. Amen. We have trusted that the blood of Christ is able to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes. This is what we're, we're trusting yeah. uh -huh. in that. That this is our present experience and our future experience will be in accord with this and, and, and better and mm. increased trusting in the Lamb. We know in whom we have believed and we are persuaded that He is able to keep that which we have committed unto Him against that day. And we trust that we will be better for having done so. Mm. That this will be beneficial to us. <coughs> trusting Him. We will now and always forever follow the Lamb whithersoever He goes. Mm. Why? Because we're trusting in His provision. Mm -hmm. We're trusting in, yeah. in, in that everything that we need in order to be acceptable before the Father mm -hmm. is supplied to us through the Lamb. And so Amen. we just follow Him Amen. wherever He goes, Amen. at whatever cost. Right? Amen. We trust it. In whom you've also trusted. And you were sealed in Jesus mm -hmm. with the Holy Spirit of promise. We have in Christ tasted of the heavenly gift been made partakers of the Holy Ghost, have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. We have been given an, an earnest, a pledge, a down payment mm -hmm. of what we will be given in heaven. And by receiving of his fullness, we have been sealed unto, unto the day of redemption. Mm -hmm. Sealed now unto the day of redemption. Amen. It's mm -hmm. looking forward to the very yes. fact that we've been given in earnest uh -huh. is provoking us to think about what's the rest of it. Amen. 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 So we've been given a down payment. Yes. Mm. He has sealed us and given us the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. Amen. I mean, that, that's, that's good. That's a little bit more specific. Yes. In our hearts. Uh -huh. Amen. In order to establish us, anoint us, and transform us into what we will be when we shed this robe of flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. All of this uh, has been done by Jesus with the Holy Spirit and has great utility for us to live by faith and patience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Could, could you live by faith and patience without this, without this pledge, without mm -hmm. this earnest, without this down payment, mm -hmm. without this hope that, of, of what is to be revealed? Mm -hmm. All of this has been done by Jesus through the Spirit. Having a treasure in an earthen vessel makes us grossly discontent <laughs> yeah. with our present condition. Doesn't that mean it's just, I'm just really not satisfied with this, with this vessel I have right now? And, but it causes us also to long for something better. Amen. A more Amen. fitting dwelling. Yeah. Okay. Right? And so that's what we're talking about here. The, the, the redemption of the purchased possession is we're actually going to be clothed upon mm. with something befitting of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Something befitting of eternity. Something that can last and endure and actually be a help to us, not a hindrance to us. Yeah. Amen. We will receive a body fit for heaven, a body fit to house the Holy Spirit. We will receive a body that will not be a hindrance, hmm. but will help. Well, actually, think about that, that your body, you're contending with your body right now, just as <laughs> I was when I was sitting down there in those comfortable seats, right? So, but see, in the world to come, the new body, is it's going to be a help to you. It's going to be a benefit to you. Now yeah. you have to overcome it and, and, and beat it and, and bring it into subjection. Then it will be an aid. Hmm. And that's something to think about. Amen. Amen. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building from God. Amen. A house not made with hands, yeah. eternal in the heavens. Mm -hmm. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is in heaven. If so, that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. Yeah. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan, being Burdened. Yes. Make no mistake about it. That is that's a blessing right there. Uh -huh. Being burdened yeah. and groaning is good for you. Yes. Mm. Not that we would be unclothed, mm. but clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Mm. Now he that hath brought us for the self-same thing. See, he has purposed this. Mm -hmm. he's, he's worked this thing out for this. Amen. This is not this is not a strange condition, mm. brethren, when you're kind of discontent with your with your present situation. Uh -huh. It's designed this way. Yeah. The, in fact, through many sufferings you must enter the, the kingdom of heaven. It's designed this way to provoke you, to, to, to cause you to long for mm -hmm. the world to come in a heavenly body. Yeah. Amen. 
But clothed upon, that mortality might be swallowed up of life. Now he that has brought us for the self same thing as God, who has also given us the earnest of the Spirit. See mm -hmm. how that works together there? Yeah. Amen. Therefore, we are always confident. Mm. This, this experience of groaning and longing causes us to be confident. Confident, knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. We walk by faith and not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing, rather, to yeah. be absent from the body mm -hmm. and be present from the Lord. This is why there's no more fear. That this is why you can you can look to this with mm -hmm. great anticipation mm -hmm. of something better in the world to come. Mm -hmm. This is not this is not just positive thinking. That's right. Yeah. This this idea of positive thinking has like stripped the power of the gospel. This is the truth. It's the word of truth of the gospel that there's something real to be to be. You're gonna be. Yeah. Clothed upon. We're not just trying Amen. to escape this body. We're looking for a better one to be yeah. clothed upon. Uh -huh. Not just getting out, but getting into something. Amen. Amen. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Amen. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wit, the redemption of the body. For we are saved by hope. Mm -hmm. But hope that is seen is not hope for what a man seeth. Why does he have hope for it? But if we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's our present Amen. experience. Amen. With patience waiting for mm -hmm. it. That's not an easy task. No. But you've been given grace and power from on high to accomplish it. To with patience wait for it. Amen. Do, do we not wake up in the morning and say, I hope today's the day. Mm. I want today to be the day. Yeah. Uh -huh. But see, if today's not the day, now you've got to live by patience. That's right. You've got to be patient. Yeah. You've got to wait for it. Right? Well, you've been given grace to do so. You've been given a spirit that is, that is specifically given to you for this self-same thing. Mm -hmm. So that you can accomplish this work. Amen. And so now, that's our present experience. And so, we're looking for it. It's, it's all in order to the redemption of the purchased possession. Amen. The earnest looks forward to the fullness. Mm -hmm. Everything yeah. we now experience in Christ will be improved and increased upon in the redemption of the purchased possession. Mm -hmm. Amen. Our experience in heaven will not be entirely different from our experience here. It'll be it'll be uh, similar and better. Yes. Amen. What I'm saying is that the earnest is in accord. It's in accord. It's according to. It's in yes. accord with the fullness. <clears throat> because our fellowship with the Lord uh, will be more uh, intimate. It'll it'll be it'll be unhindered. Yeah. Uh, our experience of salvation then will be more. Uh, more potent, mm -hmm. more abundant, and this is something. This is just a. I mean, this is our desire now. Amen. This is our, we, we just we want more. We want it to be more potent. We want it to be unhindered. We want to shed off those things that distract. We want to lay aside every weight, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is how. This is what we're looking forward to. Mm -hmm. It's going to be more potent. Amen. This vile body, this present evil world, the frailty of our minds, the partial nature of our understanding and of our knowledge, all hinder us from a greater fellowship with the Lord. But see, when, when this mortal shall have put on immortality, mm -hmm. this is the stripping away of those things. Yep, yeah. Then we shall know, as we have been uh, fully known, then our fellowship with Dita will be enhanced. Our hearts will be given a greater capacity, mm -hmm. capacity to be enlarged mm -hmm. and will need yeah. it. Well, again, this is it's similar to our experience now, but without the limitations accompanying the, the now. Yeah. Right? So it's similar but better. The earnest. What I'm saying is the earnest that we have now is Amen. looking forward to the Amen. fullness that we Amen. shall receive. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And so our inheritance, our inheritance that we're looking forward to is, it is currently a purchased possession. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the purchased, past tense, purchased possession. Mm -hmm. In other words, you're not working out to purchase it. It's been purchased. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. The, the, the inheritance and the possession for which we long is not something that we are working towards, but something that we are waiting for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. It, is, it is not something that is, it's not for sale. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, that we have to go for. This has been purchased. Yeah. And this actually, the understanding that it's a purchased possession will help you to, to govern and live your lives now. Amen. And, 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 and view yourselves correctly. It's not something that, that not, not, you can't, you can just make a choice. You've been purchased. Mm. Yeah. You're not your own. Yeah. That's right. Therefore, glorify God in your body and your yeah. spirit, which is the Lord's. Yeah, okay. yeah. Christ has already purchased our inheritance, and it is reserved in heaven for you. Isn't that just a pleasant thought? Yeah. We are awaiting the redemption of the purchased possession. The great price for the redemption of man's soul uh, is briefly expressed by the psalmist in the following words. Wherefore should I fear 
in the days of evil, when the iniquity of my heels shall compass me about. They that trust in wealth and boast themselves in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious, mm. and it ceases forever that he should still live uh, forever and not see corruption. Mm. This is just an expression here. So how can, how can man... Uh, the soul of man be redeemed. How can this be? He can't redeem his brother. How, how can this be? How can this be accomplished? <laughs> this, is the, this is the Lord's doing. Mm -hmm. how, and, and by what means will this be accomplished? By what means could our souls be redeemed? By what? Who could purchase such a thing? And through what payment? Uh, who could pay such a steep cost? Yeah. Right? The gospel reveals that God has purchased his church with his own blood. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When, when, when Paul addressed the Ephesian elders, which he purchased. With his own blood is the mm -hmm. way it's worded there. Yeah. It declares that he who was rich became poor, that we who are poor, but that through his poverty we might be made rich. Mm -hmm. Our hope of salvation and blessing rests on the purchasing power of the Savior and his currency. Yeah. I can say it that way. It mm -hmm. rests upon this. Yeah. Our, our, uh, so, so can he do it? Does he have the means? That's mm -hmm. the, you you got to think about this. Mm -hmm. Can he do it? I mean, see, we've trusted that he can. Yeah. We've trusted that his payment was sufficient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Will his payment be accepted? Well, listen to these words. Mm -hmm. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, such as silver and gold, mm -hmm. from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, mm -hmm. as of a lamb without blemish mm -hmm. and without spot. Amen. This is why we declare these things, brethren, to, to, to minister assurance and confidence mm -hmm. to one another. That, this, that it has been accepted. Amen. That by one offering, he has perfected forever them that are sanctified. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the last point I want to bring up here is, is the mutual benefit mm. of this work. Yeah. This, this fellowship. Mm. Christ's inheritance and ours. Mm -hmm. What the Father gets and what we get. Mm. The ordained end of salvation, when the tabernacle of God is with men, mm will be a blessed condition for all involved. Amen. Amen. Not only will we receive God as our exceeding great reward, not only will we receive bodies fit for our heavenly habitation, not only will we partake of the fullness of joy, but we ourselves will be a blessing to deity yeah. and a cause for glory and rejoicing. Christ will receive us as a bride on that day. Yeah. In accord with the Father's promise, to his son, the faithful God will give Jesus, the heathen, for his inheritance mm -hmm. and the uttermost parts of the earth for his possession. For not only will Jesus have raised up the tribes of Jacob, but there will be an innumerable company of men from every tribe and tongue and kindred and people present on account of his light that has shined in their hearts. Mm -hmm. Right? And so this is, this is what the Savior has done. The presence of you and I and men of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. And the presence of, of the twelve tribes and the people of his, the presence of man in heaven will give glory to the Lamb that has purchased them with his own blood. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is Amen. a cause for rejoicing, a cause, a cause for praise. Mm -hmm. We'll be involved in that. Amen. I'm, I'm just grateful to God for that. Isn't is that not your desire to be a source of, of blessing to the Lord? Yes. Amen. Amen. Well, Amen. Well, Jesus has made it so. Amen. And God will not be left without an inheritance either. For we shall be his people, mm. and he shall be all in all. Amen. 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 How many times do we read in the scripture, I will be their God, mm -hmm. and they shall be my people. Mm -hmm. He will be a God to us, mm -hmm. and we shall be a people to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's our God, Amen. our possession. Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. God has a people, his possession. Yes. Mm. Here's a couple texts. I will walk among you, and I will be your God, and ye shall be my people. Mm -hmm. This is all throughout the the scriptures. I will give them a heart to know me that I am the Lord and they shall be my people and I will be their God for they shall return to me with their whole heart. Mm -hmm. And you shall, you shall be my people and I will be your God in Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. That the house of Israel may go no more astray from me neither be polluted by any more, any more with all their transgressions but they may be to me a people and I will be to them a God. Neither shall they defile themselves any more with idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of their dwelling places wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So 
shall they be my people, and I will be their God. Mm -hmm. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Yeah. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, mm -hmm. yeah. there shall it be said unto them, Ye are sons of the living God. Amen. 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 This is a possession of God. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Redemption and salvation are mutually beneficial. Yeah. We receive a God, God receives a people, and all this in righteousness and in truth. Amen. Yeah. I bring all this up because of, of that last phrase, to the praise of His glory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This will all be to the praise of His glory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So this truth revealed by God is very encouraging and provoking to life God in us. There's not, I mean, just, just, just hearing and contemplating and thinking on these things provokes you to live God. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is yeah. good and right for us to think of ourselves in terms of the redeemed of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. You want to think about yourself and you want to think about others and all those in Christ as these are the redeemed of the Lord. The redemption of the purchased possession. Mm -hmm. The redeemed of the Lord. Purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. Amen. A people Amen. for God's own possession. A yeah. peculiar people. Mm -hmm. A special treasure. Mm -hmm. Not because of what you've done. Mm -hmm. Because you've been purchased. It's not mm -hmm. who you are. It's whose you are, some have said. Yeah. Right? So this is the way you want to reckon. It'll help you to live, to wake up and just live God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. It'll help you in your fight of faith. To think that uh, we belong to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. For ye were bought with a price. Mm -hmm. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Or how about this? You were bought with a price. Be not ye the servants of men. Yeah. Amen. Don't be the servants of men. Amen. Or yeah. men's traditions or men's philosophies. Why not? Amen. You were bought with a price. That's yeah. right. Amen. Amen. We look forward to the redemption of our body. And until then, though groaning within ourselves, we are kept by the power of God and sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Mm -hmm. We have been purchased by God. And yet while in the flesh we find ourselves... Uh, in, in some regard and in some fashion yeah. enslaved, in some degree enslaved mm -hmm. to our present condition, mm -hmm. right? Hindered yeah. to our present con by our present condition. We are bound by this vile body. Mm -hmm. not, not that we can't rule over it. Not mm -hmm. that we can't overcome it, but you have to overcome it. Yeah. <laughs> right? So it's a hindrance. It's yeah. an obstacle uh -huh. that must be contended with. Yeah. We are currently absent from the Lord. Yes. Until what has been uh, purposed for us is completely ours, we find ourselves wanting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wanting. Mm -hmm. But be a good cheer, brethren. Our final redemption is coming. Mm -hmm. So I'll just say this in behalf of Brother Mike Knapp. Mm -hmm. Look up and lift up your heads for yeah. your redemption. Draw that not. Yes. Amen. 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 Your thoughts. Amen. 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 Amen.